Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to hide a blog post on your Weebly site. This video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to the written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, so this tutorial will show you how to hide uh, any specific or multiple uh, published blog posts on your Weebly site. What it will not do is keep your blog posts out of search engines. So um, people will still be able to find your hidden blog posts through search engines, but when they click on your blog posts through the search engines, they will be greeted by a blank page. So if you absolutely need to keep a blog post out of public view, you will need to, unfortunately at the moment, delete it for now, until Weebly comes out with a feature that allows you to unpublish individual blog posts. All right, and um, this is the demo site we'll be using for this tutorial. This is a blog page, and there are two blog posts on this page. So there's the second one, and there's the first one. And the first one we will be hiding. All right, let's begin. Step one, find your blog post ID. Now, every Weebly blog post on your website has its own identity, its own ID. And we're going to find that, show you how to find that. So since we're going to be hiding the first blog post here, to acquire its ID, I'm going to right click on its title and I'll move the mouse down to inspect. And you'll see a, a div come up here. And this div has an ID that begins with blog post. And we know that this div belongs to the blog post that I want to hide because when I hover my mouse over it down here, the blog post turns blue. So I'm going to double click this ID, right click and copy it. I'm going to save that for later. Step two, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. All right, back to the Weebly editor, go to theme at the top and on the bottom left click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. And now we'll open Weebly's HTML CSS editor for us. Step three, add CSS code. Right back to the Weebly editor. Click on your CSS file. For this particular theme, the CSS file is located under styles and it is named main.less. Right on the right here, I am going to add CSS coding. Because this is going to be blog coding, I'm going to actually group it with the other blog coding on this site. So, fine, here we go. All right. Now I'm going to put in a hashtag. I'm going to paste the ID that I acquired from step one. Opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket. And in, inside of this code, I'm going to write display none. Okay, this is going to hide your Weebly blog post, um, not only on your live site, but in the Weebly editor as well. And we can't have that. We need to be able to access this blog post in the Weebly editor. So to allow yourself to, um, to access this hidden blog post in the Weebly editor, but keep it hidden on the live site, we're going to write hashtag my content, copy the ID that you created above, and paste it in your new code here. Opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket. And you're going to type in play block. All right, click save. Scroll down. And our first blog, our first blog post is still visible, which is good. But now we need to see if it's it has been if it's been hidden on the live site. So to do that, I'm going to go to theme at the top, and then on the bottom left, edit HTML CSS, and I'm going to check out the live site preview by clicking on this button on the bottom right. Opening the page here, scrolling down and our blog post is not visible. All right, guys, so that is how you uh, hide, that is how you hide your blog post on your Weebly site. 